Hey there guys, thanks for tuning in to today's episode where I'll be discussing with you where you should be going with your careers moving forward, especially if you're just sitting your A-levels now and you're going to be getting your results in about a month's time. This is a very, very important point in that crossroad from turning into a young adult into somebody who's preparing for their career moving forward, which could be the biggest decision of your life. Now, I was there once before in the UK, struggling with my grades and not getting exactly what I wanted, which is why I had to pursue a career in economics and business finance. After doing that for nine years, I then realized I actually did want to still be a dentist, which is why I am now here in Europe studying. But I'm trying to make this video to help you guys not make the same mistakes that I did. But now, one of the biggest things that we have as students that really, really holds us back is our budget. Unfortunately, we're not really making a lot of money and a lot of us aren't really blessed with having parents that might have just an abundance of wealth sitting behind them to help us make decisions that might bring us to the best European universities. So what should we do? Well, here's some key takeaways from my experience. Unfortunately, there are a lot of agencies out there that promise you the world, but when it comes down to it, they're actually just preying on the lack of knowledge that you have as a student at the time that you are be that 18 or 19 years old about the future of your career and what your specific board actually requires of you let me give you some examples so with the gdc which is the general dental council all dental graduates need to have certain degrees to be able to practice in the uk for example if you guys are from outside of the eu it's very difficult to actually work in the UK without having to actually first go through a board exam, which is of course the ORE. That in itself can take about three years to do on average, costs about £10,000 in terms of a budget from start to finish. And obviously within that time, what people don't realise is you're losing years. So this is three years that you may not be practising for, three years that your hands are getting cold over, and of course three years where you're not making any money at all. Now, for those students that are in the EU, there is a bit of a grey zone because although there is an exemption for EU students, a lot of marketing that is done by these agencies actually states that the uni they're putting you into is a European university. And in some cases, that actually can be seen as truth telling because places like Georgia or Ukraine are technically European universities but they don't actually fit into the GDC's requirement of what a European university is. So they'll sell you all these fancy marketing strategies as to this is the best place for you to go. It costs next to nothing. The tuition fees are really low and they'll get you into whatever year you desire. Most of them can even offer graduate entries or put you into the third or fourth year if you've got a degree, say, in biomedical sciences. Now, this is a very attractive proposition to people because it means they can finish dentistry quite quick and then obviously end up back in the UK looking for work. But as I mentioned before, that's not how it works. Unfortunately, you'll be left in a position that you'll be given an inadequate form of education and then thrown in with very experienced overseas dentists who are all trying to pass the ORE. And I made a video about this before, that the ORE in itself has very limited seats costs a lot and there's absolutely no guarantee that you're going to pass. I've avoided it myself so I'm a clear case study of this in that I was in Ukraine, moved to Egypt where the education is great but I just still did not want to take the risk with the ORE and this is exactly why I am now sitting here in Slovakia. So my advice to you is when these agencies do speak to you and say oh yeah we can offer you a European university and whatnot please check out the link that I've left below in the description, which is a PDF file made by the GDC officially that highlights their criteria as to what is a European university and degree or not. If you've been giving all of these proposals and options as to going to Georgia or Armenia or Ukraine or Serbia, the reality is they're just not going to be accepted. And this document will give you that proof and evidence that you need to ensure that you're making the right decision. Now here's some truths that you need to know. With the real EU universities, so places like Bulgaria, Romania, Slovakia, the Czech Republic, Poland, Italy, France, etc., all of these places, they're not cheap. and They're very highly competitive. Some of the more well-known countries like France and Italy and Germany, for example, they will usually teach in their native language, which is why a lot of UK students never end up there. 
Now the Eastern European unis, like the Polands and Slovakias, etc., they will teach with an English class in mind. However, because they're so oversubscribed by UK students, the prices have naturally gone up year by year. You just need to be aware of this. Now, I always live by the idea that you get what you pay for. I myself have been victim to this and have tried to find shortcuts in the past and ended up taking the journey that I have now, adding more years to my education and not starting my career simply because I was just trying to cut corners. The reality is you need to find an agent that isn't overcharging you, that is giving you the right prospects of what you can get in the future. But at the same time, you need to be aware that you will have to pay for these services. Now I've recommended services in the past and I will always recommend people to certain agents if they ask me directly. I don't sit here and do agency work myself because I'm a student and I'm focusing on my dentistry, but I'm always happy to help guide people and I have been doing so since this channel started. So I wanted to say thanks to all of you guys that have got in touch with me, but this is kind of a video to say one thing to bear in mind when you do talk to me, I am not doing this as a business. I have really don't no advantage for me to kind of help anyone else out there other than just doing it because I kind of relate to you I was I was there once before so when people do get in touch I don't want anyone to ever feel like I am trying to scam them that I'm getting something out of this I wouldn't be so public about my channel and my future and my career as someone who wants to be a GDC registered UK dentist in the future it wouldn't be worth me trying to scam you guys for a couple of quid here and there and then ruining my career in the future. Yeah, I'm so public about this stuff. So really, I mean, it's, it's the only way I can try to say that, please, you know, when we do have conversations, trust me over it. I'm trying to do what's best for you. And sometimes if I am guiding you to certain agents, the response I sometimes get is, oh, you know, they're charging me X and they're charging me Y. That's just them. They have to make their money as well. They have a job and we have to respect that. At the end of the day, the advice I'd give to everybody is make sure you get some guarantees from these agents, get everything written in writing and ensure that your payment is going to a registered bank to, to make sure that you're not getting scammed yourself. And then beyond that, just really focus on those key points that I mentioned before, that you are going to have to pay a decent amount for a tuition fee. I think 10,000 plus is the, the bare minimum nowadays in terms of a yearly annual fee for your tuition fee. And then there'll be a lit little bit towards the agents as well. Usually anybody who's coming in as a first year entry, it will be a lot cheaper than somebody who's transferring because there's a lot of paperwork involved, a lot of recognition processes that take place as well. And from there, obviously, you can imagine time is money. So the money does go up. And then beyond that, it's just a case of being patient, working closely with your agents, responding on time and being very proactive, but double check everything with the GDC. So this is very much a, a video for UK students, especially and those pursuing dentistry please use the GDC website and the link in the description that I've left below, which is a PDF document that highlights which universities and countries are accepted by the GDC. Don't go anywhere beyond that. And this will hopefully help you get into the right uni moving forward. So fingers crossed, guys. Thank you once again for watching the video. Please do feel free to get in touch. I'm more than happy to help. Um, and I'm always available to call or text or DM me in, on Instagram if you need to. So I will hopefully see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.